Okay, and now we're on question five of 1A from linear algebra done right. So this was uh, proving the associativity of complex numbers in addition. So just letting you know, this symbol means for all, for all, it's an upside down A, means for all A, B, and lambda in the complex numbers. Okay. So first step, uh, we let alpha be a plus b i c plus beta be c plus d i lambda be e plus f i, and then then we can begin to manipulate it, the left hand side into being the right hand side. So the left hand side equals a plus b, i, c plus d, i, which is uh, alpha plus beta in brackets, right? And then go to the second line. By addition in complex numbers, which is defined, we can add the real, add the real coefficients and add the complex coefficients as such. And then we get two complex numbers. So... Here we have one complex number and a second complex number. And then we can apply addition in complex num the de definition of addition in the complex numbers again. So we add the real coefficients and then the complex coefficients. And then we get this plus this times i. And then we reverse the definition of addition in the complex numbers, except not this way, but um, more uh, towards getting our actual result. So how we figure that out is we work backwards from our results. So this is the result we want. We want a alpha plus beta and lambda in brackets and then we apply um, addition in the complex numbers and then we apply it again to get this and then we notice that this is actually the same as this so if we reverse this expression over here back this way then we'll get the result we want okay now that's a lot of scribbles I hope you get the gist of it. Okay, so reverse, reverse it twice using our backwards working, and then we get our right-hand side as required. Just lost it a bit there. Now it's back, and that's question five. I'll see you in the next one.